Same situation, we, we're going to still use that T-bone way of locking it here. So always, from the regular F guard, always safety first. Okay, so I'm going to maintain that compression there and throw this leg here over the calf. Now I can move this here quickly. You can see that I, I do it in a way that I, I, I keep the pressure there. At no time I'm even moving this here, but you know, I'm relatively flexible. But this should be an exchange there. So from here, and that's the most important part. It doesn't matter if you master the whole technique, but if you open it up to, in order to get it, it's just going to pass. So here to here. Okay, once you get this, always a good idea to have the underhook. But I understand that at times it ain't going to happen. So the idea is once you have this, in order to move him to the top position, the easier way to do this here is to extend your legs while keeping the pressure. Don't just extend and release the pressure. So all I'm doing is this here. So once I got that a little bit more extended away from my body, moves the center of gravity more on top of me here, so it becomes very easy to control, okay? So next thing I'm gonna do here is that I'm gonna go deep on that leg. So all I did was I left with the arm inside the wrist here. Okay. Now, once you get this, very similar to almost like a deep half guard, when I kick out even further, I'm going to start sitting up. Okay. So I got him on that rail system here, where his knee is on top of my shoulder, my elbow's on the ground, and I got this foot here. So of course, I'm going to stand up to base. Once I stand up to base, it's just a matter of running through. Right so, So you're here, safety first, hook comes in, okay? If you can get the underhook, great, but no matter what, I'll open it up later on, so it doesn't really matter. So now what I want is this person to be on top, so I have some space to shoot my right arm through. So I extend it here, I go there. Okay. Perfect position now for me. Right now he's in deep trouble. I'm gonna extend it once more, because now that shoulder needs to be right underneath this knee here. So I'm going to get my legs extend with pressure until I get to this point. Now I'm not going to maintain the lock because I can't. He's too far away. So this foot here is going to go on the ground, follow the foot on the ground. This elbow is already up so I can stand up to base right here. So at this point, either drive with a double or if you don't want to do that, just snap it down here. Get the top position and you have your shorts there. So, started with a regular half guard, safety, hook inside, roll him on top, hand went right in there, okay? Extend a little bit more, come back up, boom, drive. One more time. So, we're right here, put this arm out so you can see me shooting, otherwise if the arm is already inside, Keep it there, obviously. Okay, so you're in here, here, here. So it doesn't need to be executed super fast. It's more a matter of just taking your time and making sure everything's done. Questions? Okay.